Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Marmoset talking about his Let's Play of City Skylines. We're a busy town! Animalia is now a busy town. We've got access to unique level 4 buildings, some city planning policies, leisure and tourism. Yay. Tourism specialization, so we can start having a commercialized strip. Um, or a tourist area. I don't think we'll necessarily bother with the tourist area just yet, but I think we should generally be okay. We have the old town proposal. Only residents and businesses can use the area for motor vehicles, banning other motor traffic. I think um, perhaps areas of Dalmatian Town in the future might get this. We've got our highway with sound barriers. We've got two-lane road with trees. I think going through and adding all the two-lane roads with trees in will make certain areas of our place much, much nicer. So we've got all the big upgrades for these very much large stations. We've got a new power plant, a load of tourist things. The thing that's interests me most immediately is the bus station. I mean, just rebuilt all our bus lines... We've now got a place to where we can have a bus hub. So let's find out if putting that in where I had my park previously, I've redone all my bus lines. Let me show you. I'll pause. I put a, the bus hub is now here because over there was in the way and not necessarily in the middle of the district. So this is the middle of the district. So this part marks our bus hub and you can see we've got a long queue of buses. So it's pretty obvious that what we need to do is actually put a bus station in. So how big is the bus station? The bus station is enormous. The bus station is probably, enor probably enormous. All right, so we've got to move this poor Japanese garden. It needs to flip to the other side again because it keeps getting moved. Now, let's see if we can put in our bus station. Bang. Okay, so if I want to click, if I go to buses, I click the bus route. Can I now... I can indeed drag these onto a bus stop. Which I will do as such. Fortunately, it's kind of convenient that I put these all right next to each other. So, you're apparently doing something kind of bizarre. Fine. You do that strange kind of loopy thing. Everyone else is, you know, going to carry on being sensible. But yes, grand. So we have a bus station, and I was able to reasonably successfully move all the bus things into a great location. So suddenly, all these people now <laughs> run away and disperse because the buses no longer stop here. The buses now all stop along here, and the buses now doing all sorts of ridiculous U-turns and running people. Yes, I think there, there have been fatalities. They are the, the humanity, the hideous carnage, the bus, the bus-based carnage. But, fortunately, I no longer have a problem where my buses are going to be causing absolute manic havoc um, and completely blocking up this road. I put some bus lanes in on here because it made sense to me that this being the bus area would be kind of key for the buses. So my new bus route system, I click buses and my routes, is I've just kind of linked all this up to here, then these three, these three, these three, this district, now includes this bit at the top, and then this area got tucked in as well. So we're going to see a little bit of carnage while all the bus routes sort themselves out again. But look, check out my large bus station and all the people using the buses. You can actually tell them who's using which routes now. There are mods you can get later on which enable you to be quite cunning with the colouring of the buses, so you can colour the routes and the rest of it, but yeah. Passengers last week, 319. Well, I can certainly see that. So yeah. That's also quite neatly fit in in an area. So what I suspect we'll probably do is each major district of our city is going to have a bus station. And then we'll hook the bus stations up together with each bus. What should we call our bus station, Jenny? Ocelotti. My little Ocelot. <laughs> it gave away your name, yes. What should we call the bus station? Yeah, but we want someone with an animal theme. Workers. Bee workers. Yeah. 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 Well, we call it the hive. Yeah, it's right next to the, the bee shop. So yeah, it'll be uh, the hive. And we'll leave it on because it's kind of absolutely fundamental to my traffic network. Let's uh, just quickly check our budget. We're spending a vast amount of money on um, our bus depot, transport system. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of tempted, I mean, there are an awful lot of buses on the route at the moment, so we'll have to kind of wait and have an adjustment and see how... These guys aren't that busy, but... Um, 
works in Ur Uranium. I wouldn't want to work with a company called Ur Uranium. I get the impression that actually now that the bus system is working a bit more, yeah, now this bus, passengers 30. Bus line number 10. Pause. Bus line number 10. Ah! I can now colour code this. So, let's make bus line number 10 red. So now all the buses on bus line number 10 are red. So bus line number 10 is that one. Okay, fair enough. It's a shame I can't um, manage these a little easier. Bus line number 9. The colour of number 9 is yellow. So let's have a look at what's on. So, ah, yellow one for the yellow bees. I have chosen correctly. So this might take a while as I gradually, you know, pick off various lines and try and work out which line goes to which area. And just, you know, slowly but surely, colour code my buses. So pick a blue bus, pick a bus, pick a bus. Modify a line, pick a colour. I didn't do green yet, had I? Hey, you see these ones have gone green as well. Modify line number 13. Um, a dark blue. Ah, so these, you wait a while for one bus, and then three of them turn up at once. Yeah. Hey, just like, just like real life. Green root, red root. Oh, all the yeah. Bus line number eight. Um, kind of an offish colour. Well, it's kind of pretty too close to the default. Let me do a muddy green. That's that route. Yeah, so I just, I've got a, the one remaining blue route is the long loop one I just threw on. So yeah, we've got our uh, routes are auto coloured, so you should now see that this will become a little bit easier to discern as the various different colour of my trucks come and go. I wonder which line. Let's have a quick look. Okay, so that's why... <laughs> okay, so one of our bus routes goes to the bus station, and then a few stops up, goes to the bus station. So I think I might need to remove that one. Fine, you, you carry on doing that. Um, but that was the dark blue one, so that's my industry line. It's line number 13. So, yes, all right, I'm pretty happy with that. So all these people will now suddenly run onto the pavement, walk a little bit, and run around to here. Please be advised that the number 13 bus route now arbitrarily goes from two stops slightly further to the right. I'm only going to tell you this as you arrive on the platform, so all those people who've decided where they're going previously are going to have to get here and then notice the sign. This has been a British public transport announcement. <laughs> so, what have we got? We have... An awful lot of people complaining they don't have enough workers. Lots of several derelict mining buildings complaining they don't have enough workers. And a vast demand for residential. It's Dalmatian time. Yes, it is indeed, my darling. It's time to make an awful lot of building of circles. So we're actually going to go north on this occasion to fill in this little gap. I'm just trying to take a little bit of the uh, traffic off the main road a bit further down. Do I have any major buildings on this road? I don't think I do. I think I am going to push the upgrade button and... There's a hospital down here, I think. Or a fire station. I don't know what that one is. But yes, I am quite happy with that little upgrade. And now I will spread the joyous love of commercial by re-trimming. Um these bits in, where we have the roads increased and changed size. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Zone alongside here, yes, that's prime prime real estate land next to the bus terminal. Everyone knows that. Yes. Alright, so the bees are filling in. We need to make circles. Make lots and lots of circles, because that's what we do when we've got bees. We like making circles. Bee circles. Happy, happy bees. They do. What goes around in circles? Humans! <laughs> Humans in buses go around in circles. I was kind of tempted to put a couple... Oh, you see, I've actually got a bit of terrain up here. You see these houses have got cliff sides, so you wouldn't necessarily want to live on that one. It'll plummet to your doom. Your doom. Everyone likes doom. 
That's true, yeah. So I'm going to start by putting in the much nicer roads we've had available for a while now. And let's just put some circles in. Why? Well, because that's what we do. We like building in circles in Dalmatian Heights because it's a spotty place. How do we know it's a spotty place? Because it's filled with circles. See how much nicer that is? And greatly increase the land value and bring us more of the glorious money. Pollution's not too bad. Um, it's mostly confined to the industrial area, so I'm not immediately worried. What we might do is have to put some sound barriers on our roundabout, because now we're building quite close to it. People will still are going to get... Yeah, they're going to get gripey about the road noise. I mean, particularly as I'm building these luxury flats, literally right up against the... Um, I'm building these roads literally, well, not literally, but very, very, very close to the motorway. Not just right where we are. Yeah, it's a bit noisy, yeah. So, um, let's try a freeform road. There. And then we'll grab that one and just do a, let's do another, um, tangential road. Just to add a bit more residential spacing in here, and let's make that junction offensive by adding in far too much. And I think you're right, we can get another circle in over here. I suppose we could try, yeah. Sounds like you're going to get quite a large one in. <laughs> yeah, this is a small circle, why? The small circles for the people we don't like. Why? It's right up against the roads and it smells awful. Mm. Well, let's do that. And no, actually, I'm gonna I'm going to rescind that previous order. I don't want my filthy. I don't want my circles disturbed by filthy li straight lines. I will have a do that. So we've got a nice link up to yet another nice new area. So we're going to do our usual trick of painting in some commercial on the adjoining roads. So these people don't feel too left out. We will right now go and grab the highways and the upgrade tool and upgrade that so we can have a look at the noise profile should uh, greatly reduce and we will do the exactly the same to our no we don't want to upgrade that that's a mo that's not. that. So, at some point, when we start building out this way, we're going to have to completely rebuild that junction, which will be fun. Make it all sorts of clever and interesting shapes, but for now, we have to grab the paint tool, the marquee tool, because we want this lot to be residential. And let's do a quick check of our capacity. We've got loads of that capacity, loads of this one. I think what we'll probably will do, because people seem to love them, we will stick in a elementary school up over here. We fit on, yes, we fit on the inside. Um, police department. And now we can't afford anything else other than maybe to put another bus route in. Yay for buses! I have no idea what route this is going to be. We'll just have to wait and see. So let's start it off at uh, this stop. You go all the way up to, let's see, yeah, let's have a stop there. Go here, here, no, not there, 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 there. I want you to come back to there, and then loop all the way back down to here. So, what we should see is when I unpause and unclick, there's a new bus. And I want it to be. It does, isn't it? 
that a slightly different colour red? I don't know. Let's have a black bus. Yeah. And we'll just double check our bus route button. And it is indeed the new route is the black route. I just had it pop up with a notice telling me there's a problem. Yes, available water. I didn't put any water in up here. Let us fix that problem with fourthly. Come on, snap. Thank you. Not enough money. Speed time along. No, they're not complaining, so we're good for that. Water, water, everyone's got water. That's good. Power supply is getting on the edge. We're going to have to wait a bit before we want to improve that. So hopefully these people just stop complaining about design for desire for residential. Mmm. Delicious, delicious pomelo tea. Do you know what pomelo tea is? It's basically marmalade made out of pomelo, the Asian fruit. And then it's merrily mashed up with all sorts of happy things. Hmm, I think it might be time to do a quick traffic survey, ladies and gentlemen. Why do we want to do a traffic survey? We're basically trying to work out where it's all going horribly wrong. Um, because in City Skylines, it being a traffic manager, having problems with your traffic is a major thing. So, Red Road just means it's busy. Which is not a problem. It's entirely understandable that this section of the, tra the road is kind of busy. Because it would be. So, what's causing us problems in this area... Yeah, so there's a bit of a traffic back up now. How people having to wait very long? Yes. In fact, I saw a bus despawn there. Uh, I'm going to assume that it's because of other problems, but do we have any bus routes that go along there? Yeah, we got the one. Um, so if we were to reroute that bus, where's it go? So it comes along. So it's the green line actually services this district and then weaves around. And the blue one just does its long haul route. Hmm. So you should note that the blue line doesn't actually ever go to the bus station. Let's, um, let's remedy that a little bit, shall we? Let's grab it from there and put it in on that parking spot. Yeah, okay. So... Yes, it'll weave and sort itself out of the mind if it goes around in a circle. I kind of like the idea. Did we go past that bus stop already? Yes, yes, you did. Now you're going past it again. Um, could we delete that bit of road and just make this a cul-de-sac? What would the buses do? The buses would just turn around because they're both going down this way. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to reduce the stress on this interchange by making it only a three-way. Yep, fair enough. The uh So uh, yeah, there we go. The routes have adapted, so the blue one is now coming south and joining into there, and the green one is now just throwing a UE. Let's uh just drag the stop down to the end because now it's going to be more useful. So, I have a slight problem. We've got an area of unzoned land. An empty space. You know what? We can stick it in an empty space. A park. I already put one of those in. That's massive, isn't it? Let's put a... Nice big park in the empty space. We should improve everybody's mood. Uh, plaza with trees. Space already occupied. It doesn't like the road, some of these things. They really don't like patching into the road very nicely. Right, who's not got access to any park space? You guys don't have any access to park space. This is strange. I put a Japanese peace garden over here. Let's, um... Which was it? Let's stick that in there. Hey, everybody happy. See the happiness flow. So we've completely suppressed our urgent demand for residential. Yep, we've got another fire building. Um, how's our fire coverage? 
So we've got one fire station there. Hmm. That was meant to be an elementary school. No, I put a fire station in. I've got loads of... Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, it's just I wasn't necessarily expecting to, uh, that I was going to put that there. Um, what I think I will do is, given I put that right, let's um, yeah, let's uh, move that firehouse to the corner of that road there, so it's a bit more centralised for that district. And let's move. Where was the other one? That firehouse. Not construction costs. Let's move that firehouse to... Building has burnt down. Fair enough. Let's see now. Yeah, it gives reasonable coverage. But I don't think you need to put one up near that district. So you get one fire station down here, one fire station up there, one fire station over here. It will do the thing where we did previously, it was we will grab that one and move it to there. So these guys were unhappy and then rehappy, but uh, overall we put them right there. So we're making a decent amount of money. We now have a town of 5,000 odd people, so we're growing kind of slowly, but Dalmatian Heights is expanding. Um, in between videos I will come up and tuck this in over here and fill this gap in. What I think we might do next time is give another burst of circle building, probably kind of looking at filling in this in a bit more. But I think what we'll do is we'll go for a burst of residential building because what we want to do is basically push our residential demand up as much as we possibly can. We've got a reasonable amount of traffic going on here, and fortunately this interchange just seems to be working so far. We've not got too much of our problems with this cluttering up, um, and our traffic situation on our main junction is okay by spacing this out a bit a little bit we reduce the pressure on this area i think we're looking pretty good um so thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen uh this episode of city skylines i've been the marmoset she's been the ocelot <laughs> it's on fire it upgraded and then it burnt so the, it upgraded so quickly the friction of everything was ignitious so remember to like and subscribe if you like upgrading buildings that are on fire bye bye